In today's video, we're going to uncover the hidden truth behind NASA's latest space capsule, known as the Starliner. Many people don't know this, but a remarkable $4.2 billion in NASA funding was entrusted to a suspect who pledged to create a groundbreaking spacecraft capable of transporting astronauts and cargo to the International Space Station. However, nearly 10 years have passed, and one of the world's leading aerospace giants has yet to deliver a crew-ready spacecraft. The burning question remains, where is the elusive Boeing Starliner? Let's find out. NASA has been a space exploration trailblazer since the Cold War, and one of its most iconic vehicles was the Space Shuttle. Despite its flaws, the shuttle became synonymous with human space exploration, symbolizing NASA's achievements over three decades. Most of its missions involved ferrying astronauts to the International Space Station, ISS, a space haven inhabited continuously since 2000. However, in 2001, NASA decided to retire the shuttle program, leaving American astronauts with no other option but the Russian Soyuz rocket to reach the ISS. Though the US and Russia were ISS partners, NASA wanted to regain independence from Russia, especially considering their geopolitical rivalry. With this goal in mind, NASA introduced the Commercial Crew Program in 2011. The idea was to collaborate with American private companies to transport astronauts to and from the ISS. NASA would award contracts to private companies, and these companies would compete to develop innovative, cost-effective, and safe solutions for crew transportation. Fast forward to 2014, NASA granted Boeing a $4.2 billion contract to develop the CST-100 Starliner spacecraft for six ISS missions. SpaceX, led by Elon Musk, secured a $2.6 billion contract for its Crew Dragon spacecraft and six missions. The hope was that this healthy competition would result in a superior product delivered faster and more efficiently than if NASA had undertaken the project alone. Having two companies on board also prevented a monopoly. However, what should have been an exciting domestic space race ended up being more one-sided than expected. SpaceX successfully launched its first crewed mission in 2020, while Boeing's Starliner launch was postponed to at least April 2024. Let's delve into Boeing's setbacks. They were initially supposed to conduct the first test flight in 2016, but faced development issues that caused an eight-month delay. The spacecraft was too heavy, and the team had to reduce mass while addressing aerodynamic drag problems. This pushed the test launch date to 2017, but it was repeatedly delayed. In July 2018, Boeing faced another obstacle, a hypergolic propellant leak, an extremely toxic fuel mixture used in the spacecraft's maneuvering thrusters. This led to further development and a new launch date in November 2019. The CST-100 Starliner's first flight was a pad abort test in 2019, a practical demonstration of the craft's abort system. It successfully accelerated away from the launch pad, but encountered a parachute failure during landing. However, it landed safely within parameters. A month later, in December 2019, Boeing attempted its first test flight to the ISS, called an orbital flight test. This unmanned flight successfully launched, docked at the ISS, and safely returned to Earth. In one significant incident, the internal timer on the Starliner was found to be off by a staggering 11 hours. This critical error triggered an orbital insertion burn prematurely, disrupting the intended trajectory and ultimately preventing the spacecraft from reaching the International Space Station, ISS. As a result, the Starliner had to make an unplanned landing in New Mexico, marking a major setback. Another major issue that cropped up during these initial tests pertained to the thrusters responsible for maneuvering the craft to avoid damaging heat shields during re-entry. These problems were primarily rooted in software glitches, but they nonetheless eroded confidence in Boeing's ability to deliver a reliable spacecraft. Subsequently, an in-depth review between Boeing and NASA identified a daunting 80 areas that required updates and corrections. Boeing embarked on a grueling 2.5-year journey to rectify these errors and address other potential issues. Nevertheless, as is often the case with complex engineering endeavors, problems have a way of resurfacing. In April 2021, as the redesigned and updated Starliner was prepared for its second orbital flight test, an issue emerged. This time, it revolved around 13 engine valves in the craft. Exposed to the corrosive effects of salty air at Cape Canaveral, Florida, these valves suffered from corrosion. 
Given the tight tolerances involved, launching the craft under these conditions was deemed unsafe. After attempting on-site remedies, Boeing ultimately decided to cancel the test flight. However, a year later, in May 2022, Boeing managed to conduct another orbital test flight, and the spacecraft successfully launched and returned to Earth after docking at the ISS. Even in this relatively successful mission, not everything went smoothly. Some systems failed to function as expected, and there were issues with two of the orbital maneuvering and altitude control thrusters, OMAC thrusters. Furthermore, during the docking phase, a couple of reaction control system thrusters also malfunctioned due to low chamber pressure. Nonetheless, the mission was considered a success. The logical next step in Boeing's roadmap was to conduct a final test with a crew on board. Originally slated for December 2022, the crew test flight faced multiple delays. It was pushed to February 2023, then to April 2023, and subsequently to July 2023. In April 2024, another update indicated yet another delay. The primary reason behind this latest delay revolves around a persistent parachute problem. Given the intended use of the Starliner for carrying human passengers, Boeing has taken an uncompromising stance on safety. The soft links used on the suspension lines of the spacecraft's three main parachutes were found to be inadequate in handling the load if one of the parachutes were to fail. Meeting the safety requirements set by NASA, which demands that the craft can land safely with just two out of three parachutes, necessitated a more robust soft link and a complete redesign of the parachute system. Testing of these modifications was planned for November 2023. In a more recent development, another issue surfaced concerning the P213 glass fabric tape used to cover electrical wires inside the capsule. While this tape is commonly employed in the aerospace industry to protect wires from chafing, it was found to pose a fire hazard under specific conditions and oxygen concentrations. Boeing, understandably, wants to avoid any potential for fires on board a crewed spacecraft. As Boeing works diligently to address these issues, they have refrained from specifying an exact launch date. In the midst of Boeing's struggles, SpaceX's Crew Dragon program has surged ahead with minimal competition. SpaceX achieved a notable milestone with the successful transportation of crew to the ISS, with the first mission taking place in 2020. Subsequently, they continued their streak of successful missions, with their next one scheduled for early 2024. The company's initial contract with NASA for six missions expanded to 14, raising the total contract value to nearly $5 billion. Moreover, SpaceX offers a cost advantage in terms of astronaut transportation. Their seats on the Crew Dragon are priced at approximately half the cost of Boeing's Starliner, with SpaceX charging $55 million per astronaut while Boeing's rate is $90 million. Boeing contended that their capsule could carry five astronauts, potentially reducing the per astronaut cost. However, until Boeing successfully sends a crew into orbit, the industry and space enthusiasts must wait and see how this competition unfolds. The cost dynamics of NASA contracting with Boeing and SpaceX for crewed spaceflight services are intricate and multifaceted. For NASA, choosing to collaborate with these private entities rather than developing the technology in-house presents a significant financial advantage, potentially saving the agency between 20 to $30 billion. This cost-sharing arrangement benefits NASA in terms of budgetary efficiency. For Boeing and SpaceX, the allure of such contracts lies in the fact that they get to harness NASA's financial support for development while retaining intellectual property rights. This means that they can leverage the technology for other commercial projects and profit from it, thereby diversifying their sources of income. Beyond the immediate financial implications, this partnership has also propelled the United States back to a position of global leadership in the realm of space exploration. After the Space Shuttle program ended in 2011, the United States lost its footing in the commercial launch market. However, thanks to the achievements of SpaceX, the U.S. now commands a substantial 70% share of this market. This renewed leadership has translated into substantial revenue for SpaceX, with NASA being a major contributor, investing millions each year into the company's operations. For Boeing, the Starliner project assumes particular significance. Despite spaceflight accounting for only a fraction of the company's overall revenue, it provides a much-needed revenue stream. 
Boeing faced significant financial losses due to the grounding of its 737 MAX plane and the sharp drop in air travel demand during the COVID-19 pandemic. In this context, the Starliner project appears to be a strategic endeavor to secure a stable source of income. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that the Starliner project is currently a costly undertaking. Since the contract was awarded, Boeing has incurred close to $1.5 billion in losses, and each delay adds to these expenses. Furthermore, the scope of the contracts with NASA is limited to transporting crew to the ISS, which has a planned operational lifespan until 2030. This time frame underscores the temporal constraints within which Boeing must fulfill its contractual obligations. Mark Nappy, Boeing's Starliner Vice President and Program Manager, has reiterated the company's commitment to complete the stipulated six crewed missions and one crewed test flight to the ISS. Nevertheless, there remains uncertainty regarding the project's long-term future. When asked about the program's extended prospects, Boeing's Vice President of Exploration Systems, John Shannon, offered an ambiguous response, expressing a lack of clarity on the matter. This uncertainty suggests that Boeing is still assessing the overall viability of the Starliner project, especially given the substantial lead SpaceX has established in the commercial spaceflight arena. The competitive landscape in the commercial spaceflight sector is evolving rapidly. While Boeing endeavors to catch up, there are other alternatives on the horizon. Companies like Sierra Space, despite not securing the initial NASA contract, have been developing their Dream Chaser spacecraft for two decades and are close to realizing their goals. Additionally, Blue Origin's new Glenn spacecraft is poised to enter the commercial spaceflight market.